So long, first and foremost, all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom. The scripture says, Deuteronomy 23 and 3, An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, Yahweh. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord. So, in the time coming... We're going to see uh, the outward appearances, I'll say, <clears throat> of people that look. Matter of fact, let me read up one second. Verse 2, it says, verse 1, oh, no, no, no. Verse 2, a bastard should not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Yahweh, even to his tenth generation, shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of uh, of the Lord, even to their tenth generation, shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord Yahweh forever? Okay. Now, the reason I read that is because in the time coming, there will be people that look like uh, an Edomite or, or or Ammonite or a Moabite, you know, so-called Asians, Japanese, so-called white people, even Elamites. Even um, this is what they'll be looking like. They'll look like these other nations, but. As I play this video, it's going to explain it from, from an Ammonite's uh, perspective. It was in a movie called uh, Rising Sun with Sean Connery and um, Wesley Snipes. All right, so let me, um, let me play the video. This is Asakuma. Jingo. Asakuma. Jingo. How do you feel about working with us? I mean, the police. Wesley, since you are... What do you mean? Because I'm Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Japanese. But in Japan, I was Ainoko. My father was a Kokujin. You know that word, Kokujin? Kokujin. Kokujin. Niguru? Niguru. Oh, yes. I know that one. Yes, a black man. He's with the American Air Force. My mother worked in a new little shop. And that gives a little bit of the history of how simply it could be that a so-called heathen, <clears throat> as you would appear them to be, being carnal and not spiritual, could um can be an Israelite. Okay, her father was a Negro. Okay, she, she said her mother worked in a noodle shop. All right. And if you look at the features, I believe that's uh, Tia Carrera. Uh, if you look at the, 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 the generations, so excuse me, if you look at her features through the generations, depending on, on how that's passed down, if she were a man and she had a son uh, with, an age, with a Japanese woman, an Ammonite, and he had a son, um, you know, they, like the, basically that line kept going uh, through, through, through the men of, of, um, of her line. Hey, that kid may look like, you know, like, like, you know, um, Bruce Lee, if he was a Moabite, but, you know, but different, may, may continue to look more and more Japanese. Okay, and we have something in today's time that, that reflects that. But if you look closely, and if you watch this movie, look at, look at her hair. She doesn't have the traditional long straight hair of a Japanese woman. Her stuff's curly. Okay, I'm going to play the rest of the clip. Do you know the term Isabe Sibura Queen? It's like a... Untouchable. I was even low. Well, let me say this. Um, <clears throat> the point of it is to show you that this is a so-called black woman. Okay, but her features, this would be um, like King David's grandfather was a great-grandfather. When you go into the story of Ruth, even though that was a Moabite would look along the lines of her, his great-grandfather, okay? So when you get back down to it, um, that seed was mixed within the, um, that, no, I don't want to say seed, that those features were mixed within the um, King David's line, okay? Because of his great-grandmother, all right? Keep playing. What do I do, I clean? Because I was deformed. 
to the Japanese deformity is shameful. Okay. It means you've done something wrong. I'm trying to ask Wesley Snipes, of course, so called Negro. I'm trying to see what you can do. So. And then. Okay, so if you look at her, you can look at her hair and see that that's. She looks Asian. Let me see if I can find an image of her. You look at her, it just looks like a light skinned black woman. I've met women that look like that. I've met women that, that look more Asian. That look more Asian than her. Okay? And don't that do have the straight hair, but you gotta be able to discern through the spirit. But just to show you a little bit of the history that happened, her father was in the Air Force, and we know that from Vietnam. So there's a lot of Jake over there in Vietnam. Okay, there's a lot of Jake over there in, in Japan. There's a lot of Jake over there and all the different Qatar and all the different places that, that, that these, um, the U S military has, has been, um, um, occupying, so to speak. <clears throat> okay. So you can't just judge a book by its cover. Basically is, is the point of this. You have to look into the spirit. All right. So let me go into some scripts because these are Israelites and some of the people that come into this thing and that believe in this thing in these latter days, will be believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. And you can't get simple. Okay, be like, look, I, I can't teach you because you're not an Israelite. You're just a so-called white person. You're just a so-called Japanese person. You can't look at it that way. Okay? And and it's easy that the criteria nowadays or coming into the time we're coming into is how submissive and obedient are you or are you willing to be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. And there's Jake that won't be. That, you know, people that are clearly Negroes, clearly uh, Hispanics or whatever, that won't be in this thing. Okay, but you'll find some some other Jakes that will. Okay, and these are Jakes. This lady's a Jake. I think she's a Jake in real life, not just in this movie. Uh, um, but she has all the features. And if you watch the movie, I don't want to play too much to get struck or whatever. But if you if you watch the movie and you just watch, or if you know the actress herself, you can see it. Okay, so let me go into um to some scripts. Okay, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty four, and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. So these may have grown up in other cultures: Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity. Okay, um, um, they're all off, and we were you know before we woke up and came to this truth. We may be have um been been following other other uh, cultures and, and um and religion, okay. But the point is that you come to to your Yahweh and you and you repent, okay. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And just a way to to show you how um how this works out, um. Let me keep reading. It says, and among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. And when she was going into and I stopped, uh, you know, Lord willing, they don't trip on, 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 on how much of the video or the movie that I didn't play. As um, she said, she had trouble because she was also deformed. OK, but she was also an untouchable because um, because she was a Jake, basically, because her father was a so-called Negro. All right. It said, among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. Yeah, so the other nations will be in doing the regular heathenistic things and think the world will work out for them. But you Jakes will still be under these curses. Okay, still be subject to the punishments of sin. Okay, even though the custom may not have it. So if you eat ill, you know, and it's a custom of your people to eat ill, you know, it's in their, um, their cuisine. But you're an Israelite, you follow the, the customs, hey, you get punished still. Okay, so you're not going to find any ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no, none assurance of thy life. In the scene, she, she continued on about how she didn't have an easy life. You know, uh, so let me, let me go to more scripts. Deuteronomy 30 Start at verse um, start at verse one, and it shall come to pass 
when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. Okay? And when the, the end of the prophecies are being fulfilled, and and and, uh, and, 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 and people are starting to wake up because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai is now on the earth. Okay? It says, um, uh, thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord Yahweh uh, thy power have driven thee, scattered thee out into the rest of the world, even though your Israelites are not among the Israelites, thou shalt return unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. And they're going to turn back. Okay, a lot of them you, you can see now, brothers all across the world, turning back. Okay? Knowing that that them being in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, going out and teaching this word of Yahweh Bashim Shah as an example unto those other Jakes that may look like uh, like a heathen on the outside, but have the spirit of an Israelite and have the spirit of the have the Holy Spirit within them to push this word and to be obedient unto Yahweh. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. There's Jakes that's, that's going to get burnt up in missiles just that's a part of two thirds club, man. Okay, but but those that come to us in these days. Uh, or, the, or, the, or the humble, meek, and obedient spirit, hey, we're supposed to teach those people. Okay, some will be women, some will be men, okay? But 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 the obedience unto the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai is what it's all about, all right? It says um, that then, a little, a little more, it says, um, uh, I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, we all have to do that. It said then that then the Lord Yahweh of thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. And this is the time we're coming into. He's turning the captivity now and gonna have compassion on us. But not upon the entire nation right now, but upon the elect. And some of those elect may look like the other nations. Okay? That's what the you know, the Jew nor Greek, okay? May they look like a so called Negro or a Hispanic or native or and and um a so called heathen, okay, where where um but they have the spirit of an Israelite through their father line, okay. And the way easy way to know is if they have no problem submitting and calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai in all sincerity. All right, it says um to have compassion on thee, upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord Yahweh thy power has scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of, of heaven, from thence will the Lord Yahweh thy power gather thee, and thence and from thence will he fetch thee. So he gonna go back and gather up all those other Israelites, women like like Tia Carrera, okay? Which I believe that's her name, Tia Carrera, or how you pronounce it anyway, okay? If, if she's an Israelite, she gonna get gathered back, okay? And all the rest of them. And it's funny, because I won't, let me, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, Pull this, pull this out right quick to show you what happens if if her father was a so-called Negro and, and her mother was a so-called Ammonite or, or a Japanese woman. She had a, a, a child um, with a so-called, let's, um, let's say the roles were reversed and it was a man, right? And the man had a, um, a son. He was, a, or, or, or her parents had a son. With, um, with, with her father, was her grandfather was a Negro and um and her mother was was Ammonite, and then they had a son, say her brother, hypothetically, right? And he and he married a Japanese woman, and they had a son, and he and they look more and more Japanese as as the lines go, and then all the way to their to their look full Japanese. Well, this is in the nineties. So if if she were a man, um, a son unto that so called Negro, and her mother was was was, was Japanese, hey, when when time it gets down, her her son is gonna look. Like a so-called Japanese, okay, and that doesn't that that's a perpetual line. It doesn't stop. It just continues to pass on from from seed to seed, and men carry the seed. That's why I keep trying to uh, change the dynamics of this of this explanation to, to to the men because the men is who carry the seed. Whoever, so if she married a Japanese man, an Ammonite man, hey, her seed will go back to being Ammonite after her, okay. But if if in the ancient world there was a seed of an Israelite. That was in her people, and it came down through her father line. It would then continue at, with the men down as as um as uh, as Israelites, even though they look like pure, you know, 
uh, pure Ammonites, okay, so-called Japanese. And it just goes to show you that if time goes on, I've seen this video talking about, I'm actually going to go to it. Um, you know, now it's a B style, okay? And that's black style, so to speak, okay? It says, uh, Heinle's appearance is also loyal to what the Japanese call B style, a contradiction of the words black and lifestyle, excuse me, a contraction of the words black and lifestyle that refers to a, a certain people. Now, they're not going to tell you that those are actually jakes. They're thinking they're just picking up the culture, but it's actually in their spirit, okay? And I'll start showing you what some of these look like. You're the straight jakes. You can put any so-called Israelite woman into this, including Tia Carrera, right into this and see how they're, um, they are look Japanese, but they're not. And I'm using this because I happen to be watching this movie to, to refer to, 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 to you teachers out there. You can't dismiss everybody. You have to see the, the spirit they're coming in. Okay, you just can't dissolve. You look like a so-called white person. Yeah, get out of here. You know, and coming with a with a wild, a, a wild spirit. You know, just they ain't got to be brolic just to be a Jake. They can be a humble, quiet Jake and be so-called white. Or You know, they don't have to be the brawling Irish or black Irish just to, to, to do it. But that's another example. Okay, but you have to see whose spirits are, are, are subject unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's what we're, we, we, we're um, out there to look for. Those are the people that we're fishing out of the sea of people out there. Okay? I just wanted to show you. You go into this whole B style, black style, and you see these jakes. Hey, it's not just so-called Negroes. A lot of them have, have the Hispanic uh, culture in them. Okay? You watch the movie, um, I think it was called Low Riders. At the end of the movie, that's what they wanted, to be able to sell a real a low rider as a Hispanic to, to a so-called Asian because you can make big bank on that. They're willing to pay to have that uh, over there, okay? And they had bread over there, so let me go back to the scripts. Okay, now we got Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and will sift the house of Israel among all nations. What is he sifting? The jakes out of those heathens, okay? So only... Um, he's sifting out the rest of the heathen to fall through the sift, and the ones that remain in it will be the jakes. Okay? Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Hey, you, you jakes, the grain of you jakes, we're not going to fall through the sieve, okay? Through the sift. You're going to remain in there in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the, in the hand of the Almighty. All right? Now, whether you'll be of the elect, that's something else. If they call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai or submit to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai in all in all sincerity and humility, then hey, you have to acknowledge that that's a Jake. Okay? Because the heathen not just gonna want to be a part of this thing like that. And then to know what we go through, no. <laughs> As Israelites to, to, to prove our faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, hey, nobody no heathen's gonna want to do that when when their other idol worshiping or their idol gods or um or, or provide for them, have been provided for them for centuries. Why would they want to come into this thing? Okay, and, and like we, like you go into Ezekiel and it tells you if it was sent to the other nation that they would listen. Well, Jake is hard headed. No matter what they look like, all right, they're not going to just want to gravitate to this thing, well, unless they have the Holy Spirit within them that's trying to pull it, pull them out. All right. Um, from there, let's go to yeah, let's go to the Book of Acts. I didn't particularly put it in uh, in order. We go to the book of Acts two, and uh, we'll start at four. I'm gonna just read Acts two and four, and yeah, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And the men of the Lord got the got the Holy Spirit and it gave them the the ability to speak in languages that they didn't um that they didn't already know. All right, said, so, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So the Israelites that were scattered amongst every nation, they came up for the feast. Okay, and they were um, devout. They believed in Yahweh Hashem El Shaddai. They, they, in sincerity, they were coming up for the feast as as it was the custom of the custom of the Israelites. Okay, so now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because. Every man heard them speak in, their, in his own language. Because you can hear you, the Israelite uh, uh, apostles at the time speaking in other languages. Okay, so that the so the, so the Jakes that were amongst them that looked like the other nations 
will be able to um to hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua in their own language and understand. Okay? So don't be uh in disbelief if this comes to pass soon. Okay, well, you can speak it not just in, in certain um Jake language, Patois, you know, French and, and, and the ones that, that, that Jake know, the Spanish and so on and so forth, different dialects of Spanish. Hey, but you might hear it spoke, spoken in Italian. You might hear it spoken in Japanese or Mandarin or Cantonese or, or um or uh, what's the um another um or Vietnamese. What's the other one I'll keep thinking of? Uh 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 Talaga. Okay. It says um or any of the other languages. Man, you, this word is going out. Hey, it's even in sign language. Okay. So um keep going. It says um it says and they were amazed saying to one another, are not all these that speak Galileans? They were marveling at the fact that the that, that the Galileans, the, the, the disciples, could speak the language of these other name and um these other nations. It says, and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? How could we hear this in their language? How do they know how to speak this this word in that language? The Holy Spirit gave it to them. It says, are Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia and in Pontus and in Asia. Okay, so that's Ammonites and Moabites as the example I'm using per the movie. Rising Sun, okay, with Tia Carrera. Okay, saying her father was a Coco Jean, the so-called Negro. Okay, it says, uh, uh, Phrygia and Pamphylia and in Egypt and in parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. Uh, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Okay? So they will be able to, though, that, that spirit will be given that, that they may be edified about Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Okay? Because the one third is going to be a large, vast number of people in comparison to just, you know, a, uh, a neighborhood. It, you know, it could be millions of people because because Israel is the center of the sea. You take away two thirds, which is a vast, you know, huge number. But even the one third is still going to be a big number, just not as big as the two thirds. All right. So let's go from there to um, Isaiah. Matter of fact, before I go there, let's go to, um, yeah, Isaiah 14. Here we go. 14. Okay, it says, uh, Isaiah 14 and 1, it says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Those strangers, the Hebrew word there is Gar. Let me go to it right quick. Let's see what blue letter will give me. Let's see what they'll give me. Okay. <clears throat> Cause you have to um you have to go into these words, man. Yeah, choose Israel and the strangers gar. H sixteen sixteen. Let's see if they still had his as they once did. Foreigner, sojourner, stranger, alien. Okay. A guest by implication. Uh, biblical use. A temporary inhabitant, a newcomer lacking inherited rights. Because they they even though they do have those rights, uh, uh for look, look at this one. A uh, foreigners in Israel though conceded rights okay they gave up their rights when they became citizens of of other lands okay when they took on the custom of the other lands but their spirit still goes back to the israelites okay see if the hebrew lexicon of sojourner meaning they went off from israel and sojourned okay not not just the sojourners that came in that were of the other nations that tried to come into israel but the ones that were israelites that so sojourned out into the other parts of the world Okay, as well as that were scattered out to the rest of the world. Okay, that still had Israelite spirits that mingled among those other women of the nations and had children, and particularly sons of the other nations. Okay, a 
person living out of his own country. Okay? Living away from, from, from Israel, even though they're really Israelites. I don't want to go too far into that, so let's go back. Okay, it says, so Israelite foreigners, okay, it says, strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay, they're going to come back, regardless what they look like. All right, we're all going to be changed. The flesh is going to be changed anyway in the twinkling of an eye and in a moment anyway. So it's the spirit that we're looking for. Okay, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land. That's talking about another um uh, 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 people, okay, that are not Israelites. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them, those other nations, those real heathens, not the Israelite foreigners, but the real heathens, and in the land of them, excuse me, of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. They're going to be servants, because an Israelite's not going to be a servant unto other Israelites. Okay, not in the kingdom of heaven. All right? They're going to be a part of the commonwealth. They're going to be grafted back into the commonwealth of Israel. Okay? It says, uh, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were and shall rule over their oppressors. Okay? Uh, other Israelites aren't, aren't um, as, a, as a nation, aren't our oppressors. Our oppressors are these other nations. Because all the Israelites are under these curses. We can't get in the top positions. Now, sometimes you may get some that, a few that get up, the, 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 the famous or the certain um, particular cases that happen, okay, throughout, um, throughout, throughout the history of Israel. You know, you have your superstars and famous people and megastars and movie stars and athletes over here, but you have them over there and you have actors and you have certain high positions that they may, um, you know, coming from certain rich families over there. That may still be Israelites. Okay? But those are particular cases versus a whole people. Because when we, we're taking these whole people and going to possess them, they're going to be servants unto the Israelites. Take them captives whose captives they were. Okay? He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that um uh, uh, leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Line and right up with the book of Revelation. Okay? Um, yep, it says, yeah, well, that was the point. So let's go to um, Revelation now. Um, oops. Revelation chapter 7. Starting around 9. Yep, uh, Revelation 7 and 9. After this beheld, and lo, a great multitude. That great multitude will be those Israelite foreigners, man. Okay, a lot of them will be the Israelite foreigners as well. Okay, because before that, you read about all the 12,000 from each tribe, the 144,000. Okay, but then that other multitude number, some will be Judites, some will be known Negroes, known Hispanics and natives. But you'll also have some of the one third that aren't. You also have some of the Israelites, of the, I mean, uh, the elected 144,000 that'll look like these other nations. When they came into this thing, okay, that will be the some of those men will be of the hundred and forty four thousand as well. I, well. There's some out there now that that if you looked at them with a the natural eye, you 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 know, and not a spiritual eye, you'll be like, oh, that's not even a, that's not even a Jake, but it is. So you guys got to get over that whole black thing and get over that whole um uh fleshly appearance of people and looking begin to look deeper into men's spirits. Stop being simple, okay? It says um which no man could number of all nations and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne. Okay. And before the lamb, you have a shot clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Meaning they got the blessing, man, because they were of the Israelites. It's not that the other nations are coming in. It's that the Israelites that were scattered amongst the other nations will come into this thing and be of the elect. Okay. So for you other Israelite camps that's out there that don't that don't understand that breakdown, man, you got to get past it. That still got the the Cornelius uh, breakdown broke uh, wrong. Cornelius was an Israelite, man. Okay. All right. The, the the spirit wouldn't say things about him in such high regard if he were not. All right. Talking about them and, and as well as these people as well. From there we're gonna go to Revelation fourteen. And um, yeah, six and seven, it says, and I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the 
uh, everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Why? Because there's Israelites scattered amongst those people. Okay? And some of the elect will be scattered in, in, within those people, as we just read in the seventh chapter. It says, verse 7, saying with a loud voice, fear the most high and give glory to him for the hour of judgment is come. And that's what we're telling you. Okay? And that's what the men of the Lord are out there telling you. Come back to the most high. We're talking to all the nations, man. That's why you can't just be in the hood, in the ghettos, by the projects somewhere. You got to be out in the marketplace where everybody shop. Because the heathen that are heathen got to know the judgment. And the Israelite foreigners that are in there got to hear it. And the Jakes that are out there got to hear it. Okay? That's why it, it, it tells us where to, where to push this thing. You can't just push it to one demographic. Because Jake is scattered amongst all the, the demographics. Okay? It says, um... And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. Worship the, the true heavenly father. Yahweh is his name. Uh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. In the name of his, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Who in the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And they, they, they label him or depict him as a so-called white man. But the, but the scriptures depict him in his true form as a so-called Negro. Okay, a dark-skinned man. All right. From there... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end it there. I mean, there's plenty in, in the wild olive tree and all of that to go into, you know, to, to further break it down. But I just want to use an example out of this movie to show that you can't just go by um the appearance of somebody. Let me go back to if I have that word in here. Right here. Okay. Koku Jean, as she said. she Her father was a Koku Jean, and she is a Koku Jean. Okay. And the other thing I showed you was that B style. Okay. So called black style. These are Israelites. Okay. And the ones that you can tell that aren't faking it, man. It's not just picking it up the culture. There's a certain spirit that comes in our people, a certain rhythm, a certain uh, energy that comes with a certain light. Okay. And that's given from the Heavenly Father. And no, no, nobody can take that away. Okay, so anyway, Lord willing, this was edifying, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh that belongs to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.